Hello everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm going to run through the new and improved image viewer now available at Find My Past. We've upgraded our image viewer, added some new tools and given it a really good clean up to make sure it's now a more immersive experience for you. You can explore the records more easily, more in depth and this will give you more detail to add to the stories of your ancestors. As an example, I brought up a transcript here for Michael Barry in our Crime, Prisons and Punishment record set for 1770 to 1935. So what we're going to do after having done this search, I'm going to go to view image. Now, as you can see here, it looks a little bit different to how you would normally view an image on Find My Past. So I'm just going to walk you through where everything is now and also highlight any new features that will be useful to you. Now, the first thing you might notice is this along the bottom. This is our new page navigation tool and is arguably the most exciting update that has come to our image viewer. And there's a few reasons for this. First of all, you've, we've come through from the transcript to the original image for Michael Barry. And because there are several pages in this document, um, we've come through to this one. And we need to be able to easily find what we're looking for for Michael's record. Now, these images with the page navigation tool along the bottom give us an idea of what is going to be on each page. Previously, the only way to navigate image to image this way was using these little silver arrows and they would be either side of the original image. Those are still there and you can still use them, but we've enhanced the ability to be able to move from image to image and you don't need to go one to the next to the next, you can actually skip ahead. So I'm actually going to go to this one here. This is the one I'm viewing at the moment and this is highlighted here. I'm gonna to go to the next one because it, this looks like there's gonna be lots of rich detail here that wasn't actually transcribed. Now I can move around just by dragging with my mouse like so and I can move to the top of the image. And as I suspected, there's plenty of detail here. We've got his name. We've got uh, the fact that he's single, we've got his religion, we've got his crime, we've got dates, and we've also got previous convictions of which we can see there are a lot. We can see that his conduct is good and his health is good, etc, etc. Lots of detail there. So let's walk you through some of the tools. So if I wanted to print this record for my records, I could click onto this image here. If I want to download it, I can click this button here and that will download it to my computer. If I notice an issue with it, so for example, if the image doesn't match the transcript or it's, uh, it's poor quality, I can report that here and that will take me to a ne the next page where I can add in some details. The next things that we've added are some more viewer controls. Now, previously viewer controls were over on the left-hand side over here. These are now up here, so they're not obscuring the image itself. So you can rotate it because if you're like me, sometimes when a record comes up and it is, um, it's, on, it's on its side, I end up turning my head <laughs> and um, you can actually rotate them as you've been able to do in the past, but uh, a little bit more prominent now, these tools. So you can rotate the image like so. You can recenter it. So that'll take you back to the center of the image. You can take it into full screen, so if you want a better view of it on your, on your laptop or computer screen, you can do it that way. Just click escape to come out of it. And then some really exciting new features we've added, because sometimes when you're looking at an original image, sometimes the old handwriting or the scan prevents you from getting the full detail from it. So if you click onto more, you can actually amend the brightness, the contrast, and also invert the color. So what we can do is we can take the brightness down or up and we can change it so it's darker. And we can also change the contrast as well. Now the contrast is really good if you need help reading it um, from the quality of the scan, for example. Um, so you can change the contrast like so. 
really handy for some older records in particular. You can also invert the colour as well, if that helps you read it at all, but those are there if you need them. Now in terms of zooming in and out, you can use your the scroller on your mouse, like so, or you can use the tool here for the zoom in and zoom out options. The next thing to have a look at are the tools along the bottom. So we've got here a note of which page you're on and you can easily skip ahead there and click go if you'd like to. We've got the copyright information that can be found here. We've got um, a highlight of which record set that you're looking at there. We've got linked transcripts. So if you click onto this, it's going to tell you which person is linked to this record on a transcript. So we already, we already saw the transcript information right at the beginning. It wasn't a lot of information, but we now know by looking at the original record that there's, there's much more detail. If there's going to be more than one person linked to a transcript from this original image, it's going to tell us here and you can easily navigate to that person's transcript from there. There's also a related materials feature here, which is handy for things like census records um, if you need some more information. And the last thing I wanted to show you was just how, just how good these improvements are because you easily get an idea of what else is going to be available in this uh, particular set of images because if we navigate to this one because we can see there's something quite exciting there we will find if we scroll down two images of our Michael Barry one taken in 1882 and one taken in 1884 so it just gives you it gives you a better understanding of what's going to be available. You can eat more easily navigate to that rather than having to click through. And hopefully it will vastly improve your experience of looking at original images with Find My Past. And it means you can get to the stories that make your ancestors so colourful and fascinating much quicker. So I hope you found this useful and that you enjoy exploring your family tree with Find My Past. Thank you.